there, good morning everybody. This is a beautiful day here at Lincoln Elementary School in Salinas, California. And I want to share with you some cool things that we did this past winter in this vegetable garden bed and help you learn a little bit about cover crops. So you might remember last year we planted two different kinds of seeds in our bed. We planted um, one type of seed was rye seed and the rye seed looks like this. Remember this was the rye seed that we we planted in there. That rye seed it's kind of like wheat. It grew up to be this tall grass right here and we also planted some vetch seeds. These are vetch seeds right here the black ones and guess what those grew up to be? They grew up to be this plant here with these kind of softer leaves. It's kind of a viney plant. And actually what's kind of neat here is that the vetch is a vine and it's able to grab onto the rye and climb up it. So they kind of work together nicely and that's one of the reasons why we planted them together because they're very different and having diversity is a really good thing in agriculture. We want to have a diversity of things so that they work together and they can do more than if we just planted vetch or if we just planted rye. Now, let me tell you a little bit about why we grew the cover crop, um, and then uh, that, hopefully that will help you understand it better. Now, I know this week is Recycle Week here at Lincoln Elementary School, and it's also Earth Week. And so there's some neat things that we can learn from this cover crop that help us think about those things. One of the things is that the rye plants are really good at picking up leftover fertilizer from our last vegetable crop. So if you remember last year, we planted, let's see, what was it? We grew chard and uh, kale. Um, some, some beds had cabbage in them. Other ones uh, later on in the summer had tomatoes. So we grew a lot of different vegetables in our uh, beds last year. And we wanna make sure that when we take things out of the bed, we put something back as well. Otherwise we will deplete the the bed, it's kind of like thinking of it, if you just eat food out of your refrigerator but you never put anything back in there, you're gonna run out of food. So the soil is able to give us food because we take good care of it and we put things back in even when we take things out. And the cover crop is a great way to help us put stuff back in so that the soil can stay healthy and function in a really productive way. It's also, the cover crop is also a great way to help us recycle nutrients. I, I actually made a bumper sticker that, I, that says, I love cover crops. On farm recycling for our water, food, and land. The reason I think about cover crops like recycling is because they're able to take leftover nutrients from our vegetables. So when we grew our vegetables last year, we, we a lot of the stuff that came out, we ate, but not all of it. Well, the cover crop can actually help us to make sure that leftover nutrients in those vegetables, they don't get washed out of the soil and out, into, out of our vegetable bed during the winter time. The cover crop can grab onto those leftovers and hang on to them so that next year, that's right now, we're able to recycle those into the next vegetables. Earth Day is all about thinking about ways that we can take care of the earth and help to make it um, uh, cleaner. We don't want to throw away garbage all over the place. We want to recycle. We want to care for the earth because we love the earth. This is our home. And so with our vegetable beds growing with this nice cover crop, this is a w nice way for us to think about recycling. Now I want to share a few more things about cover crops that I think you'll probably enjoy. One of them is that when we grow cover crops, I like to think of them as kind of feeding the soil. So all of this, these shoots and leaves and stuff, we're gonna cut up in small pieces and we're gonna put them on the surface of our, of our soil when we plant vegetables in here. And eventually those will decompose and they'll rot and they will become part of the soil. And that's kind of a way to be providing the, uh, the soil with food, kind of like this bread. So this is some bread. When I eat bread, I get energy out of the bread, just so do you. 
I want you to eat whole wheat bread, by the way, because that's more nutritious for you than white bread. And just like we need bread to function and stay healthy, the soil needs carbohydrates or energy to help it function. And these plants like the rye and the vetch, they add basically energy back into the soil and allow that soil to function more efficiently. All the earthworms and the other good organisms in the soil, they need stuff like this. They don't eat, well, they could eat bread, but they also really like to eat leaves and stems and roots, and that's what keeps them healthy and happy. So when we're growing cover crops, we're recycling things. It's then decomposing, and we are then reusing those nutrients when we grow our next vegetables. Now, one thing with cover cropping is it takes practice. And so I often like to use uh, a few things to try to explain that. Some of you might know I like to juggle. And see, when you grow cover crops, you got to practice at it to get good at it. Because if you don't practice at it, you're not going to ever get good at it. And often I like to think of adding a cover crop to our vegetables, kind of like adding a third ball to a juggling sequence. So let's just say last year we grew tomatoes and we grew kale. Most of us can do this, right? Two, two crops a year is all right. It's not too hard because you've got two hands. But guess what? When you add a cover crop in there, it's a little more complicated. You've got to focus. You've got to be a little bit better at focusing on things. And that's what allows you to grow a nice cover crop. And if you practice, you'll get real good at it. Last year we had a little bit of problems with birds in our garden and um, we learned some things from that. So this next year when we grow our cover crops, we're going to make sure we cover our beds where we plant our cover crops with some bird netting because what happened last year was the birds ate a lot of the seed that we planted. They were hungry and it's all right to feed the birds but we don't want them to eat our, we don't want to feed them with the seed that we need to grow our cover crop. So next year we're going to, I think, do a lot better job of planting uh, cover crops in here. 